Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about using the shape tool with nodes. This rectangle has already been converted to a curve, and I want to add a node right in the middle. So I'm going to select them both, and I'm going to go up to add nodes, and as you see, it adds one there and there. I don't really understand that. but if, So if you want more, you just add more. Now, if you want to do it on this side, you got to select these two and add nodes so they'll be equal. Now, a viewer told me about the tab key, and I don't know how it would really help you, but if you're on this node right here, and it's so easy just to go to the next node, but if you press your tab key, and I hope you can see that on the video, it is going around the the rectangle and the node. If you hold down the shift and then hit your tab key, it will select them backwards. I don't really see the big advantage on that, but uh, he told me about it. So I thought I'd make this video and, and show that off. Um, one of the biggest things that I, I guess I tried it before, but I never really knew that it did anything. I've got my nudge distance set on a half of an inch. This rectangle is six inches. So we're going to grab our shape tool and because my nudge is set on half inch, if I click that node and use the down arrow key, that node moved down a half of an inch. If I hold down the shift key and move that one in, it moves in a full inch. The shift is like a macro or a doubles your deal and then if you hold down the control and I'm going to move this to the left it only moves in a quarter of an inch so you can move half inch at a time or with the shift key you can move one inch at a time or with the control key you can move a quarter of an inch at a time I could see that being pretty useful I don't really see the use of the tab unless you're you know, doing something and you go, I don't know. I, can't, I haven't figured that one out. But it works on you know straight lines or anything that has nodes on it. Uh, if you want, like this already has a bunch of nodes, and let's just take our shape tool and we're going to cursor down a half of an inch. We're going to cursor this one down with the shape with the shift key, a full inch, and on this one we're just going to do the control key and just be a quarter of an inch. Now, in all cases, you could go Control A, and it'll select all the nodes, so you can deal with it that way. And it's always going to move from your handle. You know, your handle node is going to move, but you've got all the nodes selected. So it is going to be, it's going to react different because it's the same thing here. I've, I've got them all, but it's only being controlled by my control node. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.